Your husband just left to go into the office, Mrs. Phillips. Oh, you're here. Well, is Brooke home from school yet? No. So he left you here alone? I've told him I don't want you here by yourself. Everything better be where it should be. I understand, Mrs. Phillips. opened and rifled through. Someone took my most favorite and my most expensive necklace and I know it was you. No, it wasn't, I, I would never. I didn't do it. You're lying. I know you stole it. Now you give me back that necklace or I will sue you for the $4,000 that necklace is worth. P please. Get out of my house. You're fired. No, Mrs. Phillips, I need this job. Well, you should have thought about that before stealing from your boss. Now get out before I call the police. I'm sorry. what happened with the maid. I'll tell you when you get home. Hey, Mom. Mom. Hey, Brooke. How was school today? It was fine. Nothing special. How was your day? Well, it was good until I caught the maid stealing. Maria took something? Yeah, and she didn't even admit to it. But I know poor maids like her have sticky fingers. Your father and I are going to have to figure out what to do with her. What did she take anyway? My favorite necklace, the one I only wear on special occasions. It's $4,000. Is it this necklace? <gasps> my necklace! Why did you take my necklace? I wanted to look good for picture day. But I thought I got you a nice necklace for your birthday. Why did you take mine? I might have sold that necklace. What? You sold it? It was for a good reason. A friend of mine at school didn't have lunch, and when I asked her why, she told me her parents couldn't afford lunch for that week. She told me they didn't even have enough money for her baby brother's diapers. I thought whatever the necklace was worth could go to her family. Wow, Brooke. That's very selfless and mature of you. I just wanted to be the good Christian you and Dad always want me to be. I think you're a great example to live by, honey. So you're not mad at me? No, of course not. I actually want to start sending you to school with an extra lunch for your friend. I would love that. I'll be hanging in my room. Okay, honey. I'll call you when dinner's ready. Now it's time for me to be humble, too. Hello, Maria. It's Kathy Phillips. I owe you my deepest apologies. If you wouldn't mind coming over, I'd like to apologize in person. Thank you. Thanks again for coming after I yelled at you. I'm not proud of how I behaved. It's, it's okay, Mrs. Phillips. Please, call me Kathy. You're a person deserving of just as much respect as I am. So, no more Mrs. Business. Okay, Miss, uh, Kathy. So did you find your necklace? Yes. Turns out my daughter borrowed it for picture day. <laughs> without asking. I'm so sorry, I 
didn't check with her first before flying off the handle with you. And I'm especially sorry for firing you. If you'll allow me to rehire you, I'd like to offer you this. Four thousand dollars? Mrs. Phillips! It's Kathy, remember? Why are you giving me so much? I berated you for a necklace, a shiny piece of metal. And that's not the kind of person I want to be. I don't want to value an object so highly that I forget human decency. So, that is why I am selling my necklace and giving you the money that it's worth. This, this money is such a blessing. I was worried about if I was gonna keep the lights on this month. I can't thank you enough. Well, you can thank me next week because I'm giving you the rest of the week off. Thank you. You're so generous. Please, it's only right. Now have a great time off, Maria. <sighs> Call me if you need anything. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. The moral of the story is be humble and don't treat others with less respect because they have less wealth or success. It's okay to have nice things, but remember that's a blessing, and others around you may not be as fortunate. You should never let your possessions be the peak of your value system.